Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Python lesson. Last lesson we talked about functions and this lesson we're going to continue with some additional features to do with the while loop. Okay, so you can see here in this game, basically every time I run the program, it'll start rolling the dice and it'll keep rolling as long as the number is not a two. As long, uh, as soon as a two comes up, it stops rolling and all that code is written in here. So what I want to talk about today is a new concept where you can keep going through the loop, but with one statement, you just write out the statement and it'll jump out of the loop. So it doesn't need to wait until this condition is no longer satisfied. Right, it'll as soon as you write this word, it'll jump out of it. Okay, so right now you can see the loop is working, but let's say I want to jump out of it, I just type in break. Okay, as soon as it gets to the break, it'll jump out of the loop. So if I click view the result, it's always going to roll twice now. Okay, assuming the first number is not a two. Um, in which case it'll only roll once. Okay, so basically as soon as it gets to the break, it'll jump out of the while loop. So what I'm asking you guys is why would I use this? So now I'm going to integrate the break statement with an if statement. Okay, so basically what I want to do, let's get rid of the break so I can explain something first. What I want to be able to do is Every time I roll the die, I'm going to ask, ask the user whether they want me to keep rolling, whether they want me to roll again. So it rolls a four, it'll say, do you want to roll again? I say yes, then it rolls a six, and then it'll keep rolling. So let's get that to happen. Okay, so after the first roll, which is here, I add it to the total. Before I roll again, I'm going to ask the user. I'm going to say next roll equals input. Okay, I'm going to ask the user a question. Uh, would you like to roll again? Yes or no? And then I'm going to say if next roll equals yes, then I will roll and I'll increase the total. If not, break. Alright, so this should ensure that, um, oops, next row, next row equals yes, what's wrong with that? Bad input. Did I spell something wrong? Next row, oh, two equal signs, sorry. If next row equals yes. I need two equal signs because if I just have one equal sign, it'll assign the word y to this variable. Whereas if I have two equal signs, it'll check whether what's in the variable is equal to yes or not. So that's why you need two equal signs. So let's view the result again. Do you want to roll again? Yes. Keep rolling. If I say no, oops, so a two has come up, three plus one plus two. Okay, so let's try it again. Oops. You know, I put that in there for no reason. Try it again. Would you like to roll again? Yes. Okay, so let's stop it now. Tells me my total score is 8, which is correct. Would you like to roll again? Yes. 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 A 2 comes up. So 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. Okay, so that's great. It's all working. Now, there's just one more little tweak I want to do to this game because um, if a 2 comes up, the score should be 0. If you guys are familiar with the Greedy Pig game, the whole point is to stop rolling before a 2 comes up. So, um, here, when, it, when a 2 comes up, it should have told me my total score is 0. 
So if a two comes up. So I'm going to add an additional if statement here. I'm going to say uh, I'm just going to say if x is equal to 2 Um, total is equal to zero okay so I know that this is not the probably not the most efficient way but that's what I want so let's try it again mm. if I want to keep rolling yes okay so when a two comes up my total is zero oops so yes yes no, my total was 8, 1 plus 3 plus 4 is 8, but if I keep rolling to the end, uh, total score is 0. Okay, um, the only thing that it's not taking into account is if my first roll was a 2, it still adds it to the total. So I'm going to say that again here as well. If Um, if x is equal to 2, total equals 0. Okay, so now if the first row is a 2, I'll just make sure it comes up. First row is a 2. It's not, it's not happening a lot. Yes, first row is a 2. It'll say total score is 0. Okay, so now it's sort of a playable game because... Because now um, I have to decide when to stop rolling, right? I might stop after the third one. It gives me a 10 points rather than zero points. So that's the whole point of Greedy Pig. Uh, that's 10 lessons of Python. I hope you guys um, understand the game, understand Python a little bit. Um, if you can think of a better way to lay out this program, feel free to... Uh, perhaps comment the answer right now. This is 24 lines. Maybe you can do it in 10 lines or less whatever Whatever you guys can come up with. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time Thanks for watching guys. See you next time